There is any moment a chance of eruption in the Hague of Fell. As the land continues to rise, this is the GPS data from the Skipastig uh, lava field to the west of the Swartzengi. As you can see, it has passed the threshold for eruption even compared to the uh, previous ones. This is from the Swartzengi. And again, we are well above the eruption threshold. And this one is from the Thorbjorn, very close to the Hague of Fell. As you can see, this is the best uh, indicators are the ones which are completely around the Swartzengi, not exactly on top of it, like Hagofell, like the uh, Thorbjorn or Swartzengi itself. And uh, there is not much evidence for any eruption. You know, you don't see tectonic or magmatic tremors showing that. That was the case also for the January eruption. We had a sudden rise and then again the land rise and again fall. And that was it. We had a bang. This is the MBL Iceland camera showing that. They're all back now also. They were off. They're now back. We can see that. There is evidence for the continued clusters of the earthquakes in the area of the Swartzengi. We have now a safety map for the people to return quickly. The snow is a bit hampering the speed of the work. But at the same time, we know that some parts on your field, that's the red part. In this time, we will have eruption somewhere, in my estimate, north of the Hagofell and the Sundunka craters on this valley. This is the most likely path that uh, uh, I, I think that eruption will During happen. During the Hagofell Grindovic eruption, we had this wall actually to protect the Grindovic because the lava was flowing southward. The wall worked. This time, the flow of the lava will be toward the north, toward the Swartzengi, in my estimate. And a little bit of it toward the older lava field on that peninsula that's near there, to the east of the Grindavik. And hopefully the wall around the, Green, the, the Swartzengi will actually protect and work. Eruption is imminent. It will happen soon. Quite soon, actually.